Good thing everyone, I'm Mara Cristina Gabriel, a student nurse and I'll be performing surgical hand washing, gowning and clothes gloving. So surgical hand washing is done to remove any transient microorganisms, dirt or even oil to the nails, hands and forearms. So before we enter the operating room or the treatment area, we should be wearing a glove, a mask, eye mask or goggles and a shoe cover so now we are prepared we will proceed to surgical hand washing so before we proceed we should remove all your wrists because it harbors microorganisms and help to prevent the allergic reaction from the scrub soap agent and the gloves powder and we should make sure that we are not close enough in the sink because we should consider the sink is unsterile and we should make sure that our nails are clean short and healthy and our cuticles hands and forearms are free from abrasions cuts and lesions before that we should open the gown and gloves with the assistance of the circulator nurse using a septic technique and ensure that they remain sterile now we will open the water run down and wash our hands with the light like soap now we will do some palm to palm Now we will rinse our hands by keeping them elevated and let the water run down to our hand above. It is to remove any bacteria and oil from our hand. Assuming that this is a new thing. We will clean our fingernails under the running water. Now we will turn the scrub brush under the water to release the soap from the sponge. Now with the scrub brush, we perfectly clean our fingers between the scrub all four sides of each fingernail of the sponge. First is the nail in the scrub. Assuming that it is done, we will proceed to the fingers in a plenty of soap. Each side. The rationale for this is to reduce the risk of the microbial count to minimum and keep it from the growth of my face. Next is the palm using the brush, plenty of soap. The sponge, thank you. The forearm, which is divided three sections. First here, with a sponge, thank you. And now we will wash our hands or rinse. And after that, we will close the faucet. And now we will drain our or let our hands elevated to drain or flush the bacteria and keep fingers elevated.
needed to maintain sterility of hands after scrubbing. And now we will dry with the sterile towel. In the top portion of the towel, we'll be pat drying our hands. Down to our elbow. And at the bottom, we'll pat dry our next arm. And after that, we will discard the towel. Now we are done with the surgical hand washing, which we keep our hands elevated. Now we will proceed to gowning and the close gloving. And step, step away back from the table and let it fall down. After that, we will locate the neckband, which is this one. And we should not touch the outside of the gown because it is considered sterile. And now we will put our arms inside of the gown. Simultaneously. After a put, we should consider that our hands are still inside the cuffs or of the gown. Now, with the help of the circulator nose, we should let them tie the tie at our back at the neck part and the waist. So now we are done with the gowning and proceed to close gloving. So with my dominant hand inside the gown puff, I will pick up the glove for my non-dominant hand by grasping the folded cuff. And now I'll put I will put it in the palm of my non-dominant hand. Then I will pull it back and put the hand of my non-dominant hand inside together with the cuff of the cuff. Now, I'll put the glove in my dominant hand by my non-dominant hand. Now that we should make sure that the fingers are fully extended in both gloves and the gloves are not too tight or too fit in our hands. And after that, we'll let the circulator nurse wrap our sterile gloves by taking the glove hand and release the faster or ties in front of gown assuming that we have that and we will hand the paper tab to the circulating nurse and let them make sure that our gown is secure now we are done with the hand washing gowning and clothes gloving so we are ready to go with the operating room so when we are going we should make sure that our hands are above our waist because below our waist is considered a third and we can clasp our hand or just like this to make sure that we should not touch anything unsterile.